You're watching WMAR 2 News. Some people in Howard County felt the earth move this morning. Good morning, Maryland. I'm Christian Schaefer. Officials of the U.S. Geological Survey say there was a 2.1 magnitude earthquake, so not very strong, but some people have been tweeting out that they felt those rumbles around 2 o'clock this morning centered in the Clarksville area, western Howard County. A lot of the work done on a project to add wind power off the coast of Ocean City will be done in eastern Baltimore County. On Tuesday, a company called U.S. Wind announced plans to build parts for wind turbines at the site of the former steel plant in Sparrow. Point. U.S. Wind hopes to build a wind farm 13 miles off the coast of Ocean City. It's a project that would still need approval from state officials, but if those parts are going to be ready, officials from the company say construction needs to start now. When we move forward with momentum, we will be bringing steel back to Sparrows Point with Sparrows Point Steel. It will be the first offshore wind component manufacturing facility in Maryland, one of the first and largest of its kind anywhere in the United States. Yeah, that new plant in Sparrows Point would create about 500 permanent jobs. And WMR2 News, Dave Detling got another call about trash in Baltimore. People in the Midtown community have a problem with people putting trash from their homes into these municipal trash cans along city streets. Those are supposed to be for pedestrians throwing away handheld trash. Large bags placed in municipal trash cans is considered illegal dumping in the city of Baltimore. I do not bring out my 12 pounds of cat litter, used cat litter, and put it in the can. The corner cans themselves are made for what we call pedestrian trash or transient trash. Yeah, she says the uh, warning signs about the possibility of illegal dumping that you see right there have been helpful in stopping some people from putting household trash in those containers. And if you've got a problem with trash in your neighborhood, Dave Detling might be able to help. Email that to Dave at storyideas at WMAR.com. And now from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. Happy Wednesday, everyone. As we get up and over the hump, we are tracking some clouds to start, and then we will have some sunshine in here as the day goes on. Tracking temperatures below average once again, and also the chance for some showers and some thunderstorms. Uh, possibly today we can see a shower, but it looks like it's going to stay more to the south of us. In terms of those temperatures, numbers will be in the low 80s for today. So again, below average. Christian, back to you. Okay, Lynette, thanks very much, and stay with us online at WMAR2news.com all day long for updates on top stories and breaking news. For news weather on the go, you can always download the WMAR2 News app from the App Store. Thanks for watching. I'm Christian Schaefer. This WMAR2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.